Time now for the morning rush. We'll start things off with Kristen Curry. Good morning. When it comes to our next big weather maker, that's a cold front, but it doesn't arrive until Saturday. So for today, a mix of the high clouds and sunshine. This actually continues tomorrow. There's no rain or snow to worry about. We're going to stay clear of that. Just sunny skies and warm temperatures across the state. Adam? As you get ready to head out the door this morning, we're following the day's top local story, starting with Sarah Yingling live at Coors and Central. Sarah? Happening today, orange barrels surrounding ART construction will be coming down permanently in two different areas. This will take place between Coors and Rio Grande Boulevards, as well as in Knob Hill. Officials are asking for drivers to use extreme caution and to never enter the ART bus lanes. Officials also say to never cross the ART bus only lane to make a left turn. If you're caught driving in the bus lane, you will be ticketed. How you can get a ride on ART this weekend coming up in the five facts. Fernanda? The Albuquerque family is sending out a strong message about the importance of smoke alarms after their home caught fire in the middle of the night. They're now also thanking their seven-year-old daughter, Natalia, whose quick actions saved their lives. A month ago, when her, her family's home in southwest Albuquerque suddenly went up in flames, she was the one to alert her family they needed to get out fast. The home they were renting didn't have smoke alarms, and the family now realizes how lucky they are to have made it out okay. We have a link to the family's GoFundMe page on alwaysonkrqe.com. Crystal. A search effort underway in the Pacific Ocean as we speak. This comes just hours after a plane crashed while on the way to the USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier. It's a military plane, that is. The U.S. Navy says eight of the 11 people on board have been recovered. They're in good condition. However, officials said could, they're still searching for three more people. It could be the result of engine problems. We'll stay on top of the search for you. President Trump is defending Alabama Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore. Moore is facing multiple allegations of sexual misconduct, but he maintains his innocence. The president questioned why some of Moore's alleged victims waited so long to come forward, and they blasted Moore's Democratic opponent, Doug Jones. The president has not ruled out going to Alabama to campaign for Moore, saying he'll make a decision on that next week. Charlie Rose is without a job this morning after being fired twice from CBS and PBS. This after accusations of sexual misconduct surfaced. Now, three new women say they experienced unwanted sexual contact from Rose while, he, while they worked at CBS News. He did apologize for his, quote, inappropriate behavior, but added he did not believe all of the allegations are accurate. On to news new this morning, Disney executive and Pixar co-founder John Lasseter is taking a leave of absence. This comes after a memo to workers in which Lasseter apologized, writing in part, quote, it's been brought to my attention that I've made some of you feel disrespected or uncomfortable, and that was never my intent. According to an unnamed Pixar employee, Lasseter was known for, quote, grabbing, kissing, and making comments about physical attributes. Today marks a tragic anniversary in U.S. history. It was on this day in 1963 that President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas. Kennedy was riding in an open convertible limousine en route to a luncheon. That's when he was shot. Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested and arraigned for Kennedy's murder, but he was gunned down just two days later. Kennedy is the fourth U.S. president killed in office. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index at a zero, looking at a near perfect day with filtered sunshine overhead. Temperatures going to be in those mid 60s across the area. And as far as the winds go, those will be light coming out of the west about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Crystal. Happening today, Bernalillo County is expected to join only a handful of jails around the country that allow inmates with opioid addictions to start a methadone program while behind bars. Prisons offer opioid users medication assisted treatment. Supporters of the program hope this will address a multitude of issues that do include crime rates and community wellness. Zimbabwe's recently fired vice president is set to arrive back in his home country today. This is ahead of a swearing in ceremony as he takes the helm as the country's new leader on Friday. This comes just 24 hours after Zimbabwe's president resigned, bringing an end to his 37 years of rule. The transfer of power comes as parliament began proceedings to impeach him and six days after the military seized control in the capital. The FCC wants to roll back the rules on net neutrality. Net neutrality is the 2015 regulations designed to ensure that Internet service providers treat all online content equally. 
The regulation prevented Internet service providers like Comcast and AT&T from spinning up websites that pay a fee. The FCC will vote on the repeal on December 14th. Today is one of the busiest travel days of the year, and Americans are expected to hit the roads in near record numbers this Thanksgiving. You can look at this screen if you have a moment and see that uh, this is pretty much a nightmare. Cars were jammed together along I-405 in Los Angeles last night. So AAA is estimating about 51 million people will travel at least 50 miles over the holiday weekend. That's the highest number since 2005. And the drawback is drivers are going to face the most expensive gas prices in three years at a national average of 256 per gallon. Let's hope things aren't that busy yet outside in our area, Kristen. <laughs> yeah, no, sir. We'll take it to the traffic map right now. Not seeing anything major out there. No holiday traffic yet. Just our usual slowdown. I-40 eastbound right as you approach the 4th Street exit. But it's minor at the hour. But, of course, we'll keep tabs on it throughout the morning. The Driscoll Heritage Academy a little brighter this morning after more than 100 students partnered with artist Roberto Salas. It's part of a project to create a mural for the students with cultural significance. They created a large-scale mural that will be permanently displayed at the school. The project took two weeks to complete. It was made possible with a grant from the APS Foundation. That's beautiful. Once the Thanksgiving dinner is over tomorrow, people are going to start thinking about these Christmas trees. <laughs> And you're going to have to pay a little more for a Christmas tree this year, all because of an economic recession a decade ago. Declining Christmas tree sales back in 07 led growers to plant fewer trees. The result, 10 years later, is simply just a smaller supply, since it takes 10 years for a 7 to 8 foot Christmas tree to grow. The shortage is likely to last until 2025. Hmm. There you go. You can decorate a house plant like my parents do. <laughs> all right, time for the of local families who may not be able to afford a Thanksgiving meal are set to receive all the trimmings thanks to the YMCA. Volunteers work to prepare 6,000 pounds of food to be distributed to 130 families here in Albuquerque. They'll also be receiving enough food to last a few weeks after Thanksgiving. On to number four, there are still questions this morning over the amount of money Lobo coach Paul Weir owes NMSU. NMSU sent him this letter in April saying he owed them $500,000 for voluntarily terminating his contract without permission to leave for the Lobos. Weir's agent, though, responded saying he would owe at most $375,000. In May, Weir tried to settle, offering to pay a $250,000 buyout. That's half of what the state says he owes. And number three, beautiful weather for the next few days. Light winds, plenty of sunshine, just high clouds here and there. And temperatures in the 50s and 60s today, more of the 60s and 70s across the state for Thanksgiving. Number two now, a Roswell School Resource Officer is without a job facing charges for allegedly trying to lure boys into having sex. According to police, Mesa Middle School students say Officer Alonzo Barrientos started sending sexual messages to male students, sharing, then asking for pictures. Police say someone came forward alleging that he was having sex with their little brother that launched the investigation. He's not charged with solicitation and was fired immediately. Well, there are allegations that he actually had sex with minors. He's not facing that charge yet. Number one, today some orange construction cones surrounding the new ART bus lanes along Central are set to come down. Officials are planning to clear the new bus lanes from Coors to Rio Grande and in Knob Hill to help with traffic flow for Black Friday shopping. ART officials say drivers could now be ticketed if they're caught traveling in the new bus lane. Also, we're just days away from riders getting their first taste of ART service. Free rides will be up and running for the River of Lights on Friday and Saturday. Mayor Barry is set to be on hand in Knob Hill this morning at 9 a.m. for the removal of some of those cones.